So drop the E. Drop the E. Drop the E. And switch. Bam. And he's dead. Just like that. Deleted. How to build teams in Genshin Impact. For now, this is gonna be for beginners who are stressed out with what characters they have and don't know which characters to upgrade, which characters to put wow. in their team, how to allocate their resources. You need one main DPS, wow. two support DPS, and one healer. The main DPS will get all the resources. You will pump all the damage, all the best artifacts on that main DPS. She's gonna be carrying your team, all right? The support DPS will mostly rely on switching in, dropping their skills, and then applying status effects and switching out. The main purpose is to give the main DPS chances to do elemental combos, which further increase the DPS of your main DPS. Wow. A healer is a healer to give you HP. <laughs> Depending on the content you're doing, you may not actually need a healer. You can opt to go for a third support DPS if the content you're doing is easier. If it's not a high tier abyss or a high tier dungeon, you can make anyone DPS. You can make a healer a DPS. Don't listen to tier list. It's a PvE game. And wow. if you really enjoy playing as that character, then you make that character the main DPS. That's what's gonna get you to log into the game every day and enjoy your hours spent. With that being said, how do you determine whether a character is good for main DPS or support DPS or for healer? There are four healers in the game. Jean, Chi Chi, Noel, Barbara. A support DPS works the best when you can drop them in, drop their skills, drop their E or their Q or both, switch them out and go back to your main DPS. And then your main DPS can continue his uh, rotation with the elemental procs from your support DPS. Good example would be Fish. You can make Fish your main DPS, but she's also good as a support DPS because her E is gonna stay there and it's gonna fire at enemies all the time. I don't know what she, it's firing at right now. While your Beidou, your main DPS, is trying to whack on some uh, hilly churls. The E lasts such a long time on the field, right? You can do so many things while it's out. It lasts 10 seconds on the field. And that's what makes her good as a support. What character doesn't make a good support DPS? Here's an example for you to better understand it. I've seen people say that Ningguang can be support. <laughs> I disagree. That is absolutely wrong. You cannot make Ningguang support DPS. Why? So her E is this Jade screen, right? The Jade screen does one instance of Geo damage. Oi. And then it doesn't do damage after that. So if you switch to Ningguang, you put your E down, and they switch back to your main DPS, the J screen isn't actually helping with the damage. Yes, it blocks enemy projectiles, but so what? You can dodge projectiles. Well, what about her Q? Her Q does insane damage. Yes, true. But if you make her a support DPS, that means you're not going to pump the artifacts on her. You're not going to pump her damage. So that means her Q is not going to do more damage. So you don't get elemental combos because Jade Screen doesn't do continuous damage. And her Star Shatter is a burst. After the burst, it's done. There's no more persistent effect like a fish with her bird for 10 seconds lasting on the field. The Star Shatter, once you pop that, it's done. And you switch back to your main DPS. Your Ningguang didn't actually do any DPS. So she's not a good support DPS. She is a very, very good main DPS though. This is how you build a team. You understand the roles and then you look at the characters you have and try to understand their skills, how it works. Let's give uh, one more example. Noelle. You can make Noelle a healer because she can heal, yes. But you can also make her main DPS. If you do that, then you get two roles in one. You get the main DPS and healer in one slot. And then the three are left for all support DPS. See? But here's another thing to consider when you're building a team. You look at your main DPS, you go to party, and you look at elemental resonance. You get bonuses for having two of the same elements. I main Beidou. If I put a fish in, I get 100% chance to generate an electro-elemental wow. particle for every time I do an elemental combo with my Beidou. If you're building your team, look at your main DPS and try to put another team wow. member with the same element. The only exception with, to that would be the water because you might not benefit too much from increased incoming healing by 30% unless you end up dying so much. In that case, you just pop Noel in your team. <laughs> so right now, I have one main DPS, Beidou. I have one healer, Barbara, but she's also a support DPS because of her E. This is why Barbara, Fish, and Shanling are on my team because they support 
Beidou. Barbara has her E, which gives consistent water procs. Fish also has her E. It's consistently doing elemental procs. And Shan Ling has her E and her Q consistently doing wow. pyro procs. So all three of these guys are gonna combo with my Beidou. A quick example of the rotation. So drop the E, drop the E, drop the E, and switch. Bam. And he's dead. Just like that. Deleted. So I hope you have a better understanding of how to build your teams and you're not gonna go on to the forums, go to the Facebook groups, ask people what's a good team and then you're gonna have so many comments with no justification whatsoever, no explanation on why this is the team they recommend to you. You should just have the basic understanding of the characters, of how the elemental combos work and how the talents and skills of each character in your rosters work. And then you can wow. make a good team. So thank you for watching this video. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Philippine time or GMT plus 8. So if you want to have a good time and you want to ask me questions about the game, something I did not clear up too much, do drop by and ask in the comments. I'd be willing to help. Make sure to follow, all right? See you around.